Hi again guys, this is Small Archangel, welcome to this episode of Layers of Fear, I hope you're okay, I'm, first a slight apology, the last episode we did, uh, it got gradually darker while I was recording, started out quite light and then I only realised towards the end of the video that I was completely getting invisible on the camera there, so I'm sorry about that, but that's what happens when darkness creeps up here, that's not going to happen today, today we're going to have the opposite problem, which is that I'm all bleached out and washed out because the sun is shining, it's a beautiful summer's day and the birds are tweeting and it's really not conducive at all to play this game, but <laughs> that probably will do me some favours to be honest, that and my tea, so... Cheers. Um, so, uh, that's just the way it's going to be, unfortunately. It's going to be hard for me to record during the night, during the evening, because I just don't really have time during the evening, so it's going to have to be during the day. And much as I've tried, I can't block that out, because unfortunately it's in the roof. It's a roof light, so so there you go. So, that now done. Here we are, uh, jollying around our completely... I don't know what to make of it. Basically, our saves are going to start in our uh, painting studio and they're going to finish in our painting studio. That's that's how it has to go. Therefore, the timing of the episodes is quite difficult to do um, because that's how it saves. So we've got a, a portrait of, of a gore heap, which is lovely, isn't it? So we have to keep kind of working on this. And I think we've done our stint this time. Yes, we have, because we had some slightly odd-looking flamingos and now we seem to look... I don't even know what that is, a flesh cable, something, I don't know, is that locked? That is locked, yeah, so we're going to ignore that and we're going to go out, it says form emerges, yeah, I'm not quite sure what form has emerged, but let's go and see if we can have some more frighteners, now, that I assume is a table over there under some cloth, and we've straight away got the creepy sting. I got attacked by a book monster in the last episode, if you saw that. There's a ton of chains in this corner. A boarded up door! Always fun. Um, that's not boarded up. And I assume... Oh! Good lord! Well, there goes that vase we've seen around a few times. I dare say we'll find it again at some point in one piece again. But that window just... I, I think it was on there and it just got blown or shoved this is really really very dark uh, indeed and that door is i don't know if that's a cupboard or a door but it's locked anyway furniture in front of that door so we ain't going that way i've got my ocd haven't i so you know obviously um i have to open everything but there's a few things that i just wouldn't have found had i not opened everything so i'm gonna go ahead and do it that's a paint box well he's an artist so that's astonishing isn't it and that is just a corner that's not a cupboard okay well i'm gonna investigate this even though it's obvious we're not going that way yep that's boarded up good and proper isn't it what's that rodent seeds Ooh, rotten soil nothing else grows i see the dirt move yeah, he's nuts. He's an utter. Okay, so that that's that's lovely. He sees rats. He sees rats all the time. But we've collected that, so that no doubt no doubt now will go on the wall in our in our painter studio. Okay, let's limp on down here. A uh, piano, and just in time, there's a nice low bass piano note there, just to. That's some shoes, I think. Oh, I have put the gamma up, but it's still pretty dark, and that's the way it's supposed to be. I've actually got the gamma up higher than it's supposed to be in the game, than it's recommended to be. So, this has got chains all over it as well. I'm not sure if that's a metaphor that he wants, he wants to... Oh, crap. <laughs> Repress his wife. No, I think it needs chasing, chaining up, doesn't it? That, yeah, that piano is a dangerous beast it needed chaining up so that is not just a metaphor it's actually a dangerous animal uh maybe he was threatened by his wife psychoanalyze the guy now so that's blocked up that door so we're not going that way it's almost like the house is protecting its own secrets it's a very nice piano bad piano naughty piano badly behaved okay i'm a guessing we're going this way then because there ain't no other way oh, do you know what it's darker and darker Apologies if you folks can't see a lot. Believe me, I can't see very much myself. I can't honestly see. It's a room across the way. 
So there's obviously some sort of courtyard or something. And there's a light on in the room across the way, but I can't see if there's anything to be seen over there. <laughs> Whoa, that was seriously horrible. I apologise if anybody was wearing earphones. <laughs> That was that was really creepy. That was that was the kind of the spirit, the ghost that we saw walking down the hallway when we were in the lift the last time. I was not expecting that. I kind of expected something when I turned around because I've got to that point where I sort of expect to see something when I turn around. And I wasn't disappointed on that occasion, was I? Good grief. So that's still flashing. No, I don't think we're going to gain anything. She went this way. Which means I'm not entirely sure I want to go this way. Okay, let's just have a swift fortifying cup of tea. Uh, sip of tea. <sighs> okay. It's herbal though. It doesn't count. It hasn't got caffeine in. Oh, this is a suspiciously empty looking room, isn't it? Why am I walking into a completely empty room? What the heck is going to happen to me here? Nothing. Okay. Creator's block. Well, okay. So, he's right. Okay. I'm not sure if we're going through the... Ooh, hello. I didn't quite mean to do that. I don't know if we're going through the... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The creative process here. Oh, my God. There's no door. There is no door at all. Even the one we were just looking at just disappeared. Hell's bells. How do we get out of here? Through the floor, probably. No. Ah! Oh, I don't like the look of that. I don't look, like the look of that at all. Okay, so the, the wall just surreptitiously fell down without me being able to even see what's going on. And good grief. This looks like it's going to collapse under me any moment. Tinkle crunch. I can't see a ruddy thing. Ah! There's a doll hanging. With a, a big shadow shape behind it that looks really horrid and doesn't match the doll. What do I do? There's a key there. We take the key. The shadow doesn't seem to match the doll at all, does it? I think that's just glitched out a little bit, though, to be honest. What's going to be behind me now? Okay, just the dark corridor. Okay, so we're going to need this key for what? I dread to think we've got a glass door that looks... Is this... I can't even see a handle. Is there even a handle? That's a window, isn't it? Oh, my God. Right. Gordon Bennett, what just happened? Okay, I was suddenly looking in a window at this room. And we've been in this room before. And the window we looked in and just kind of phased through has gone. Okay, it's not changing anymore. This is good. But th that bed, I recognise that bed. That's his bed and it just keeps reappearing in odd places. So, oh, there's something here. What is that? It's a calendar. New moon. Hmm, what does he think? He's a werewolf now. Uh, June the 9th, the new moon. Don't forget. What? Your anti-werewolf drugs. I tried to think. Nothing. Okay, we've probably seen... All there is to see there, haven't we? Okay. Alright, so. There, I can't even look in there, so. Oh my god, what just happened? The door just fell in. With a bang. This just reminds me of the room we are in when we had a pounding on the door and the sort of paint streaked across. I kind of get the feeling I'm being pursued by myself. I.e. the artist is being pursued by himself. Throughout his own mind. And he's tried to unlock the secrets of his own memory, his own past. And, yeah, I'm reluctant to discover them, as I'm sure he would be. More furniture under wraps. This is all very dark. There's a deck outside. <gasps> what is that? He's painted on the wall. 
I don't know what he's painted on the wall, but it doesn't look very nice. I can't really make it out. Could I have a torch, please? Yeah, there's a stick figure that looks like it's butchering a hedgehog. And beyond that, I can't really tell. Okay. Ah, oh, now, this is the four ways. I've been here before. It's kind of a crossing of four sort of corridors. Excuse me. <sighs> Tea required. Okay. There's something here. I can't really... Oh, it's a still life, but it looks like he's defaced it with paint. Oh, my goodness. There's a little bust there, which also looks equally covered in paint and things. And then... I think we were just here a little while ago, only the furniture was different and there wasn't a pile of books, so beware the book monster, beware the book monster. There was a, yeah, that was where something flew through the, I don't know, it's never quite the same twice, is it? Never quite the same twice. Have we got something here we can look at? No, we have not. So what's our choice here then? We go that way? We don't go this way. She says, going that way. No, I, there's no point going that way. There's a cupboard there. Now this was covered by furniture before. It was just locked. This time it's not locked. That looks... For a moment that looked like stairs. No, it's not. They're fine. Okay. That does open. What about the other one? Does that open too? We'll lose track. I came in that one, right? Let's just check and see if we actually have a choice here. We do have a choice. Okay, so do we go that way? Or do we go this way? Which is going to be least horrifying. Hmm. No bets on that. Well, there's a stool in front of a... Oh, good grief. Is this my artist studio? That's certainly a Portrait. Blind fools, ingrates, cretins, simpletons. Blind fools. Yeah, okay. That's basically what it says all the way through. And I can hear rats squeaking. Oh no, I can hear whispering and rat squeaking. Nice. Okay, that's a nice painting. This isn't our artist studio then. This is another painting in another place. And he didn't do that painting. Maybe that's a portrait of a blind fool and an ingrate. I don't know. And that says, I'm not sure, what does that say? I can't quite see what that says, that looks like it's written all, all along the windows. It doesn't look like it says, no, I can't make it out. I can't make it out. I have to watch my own episode back. I don't know, is there anything in here we're supposed to find? I don't think so. I think we've pretty much seen it, haven't we? Okay, so. We're going the other way then. Definitely. Uh, that's that way there. Yeah. So we left that open. Okay. We're going this way. Right. So is this a library? Or is it just a... We've been down there before. That might be the living room. I don't know. I'm not sure if I've seen that room before. Okay. There's some stairs going down there. Presumably to that room down there. That one's locked. Yeah, we're going down the stairs. Lots of books. I approve of that, but I'm not sure quite what this guy's reading choice would be. A phone is ringing backwards. Because they don't normally sound like that, do they? Maybe it's a phone back in time or something, because that's where they normally sound. Should we go and see if we can pick it up? Whoa. What? What? Okay, it's still ringing. And there was something on the floor here and that's now gone. So I don't know if we're having little flashbacks or little visions or... And we're going round in circles. Yeah, we are literally going round... I've been round there already. What the heck? So 
Sorry, you said what? There's a phone now. It just appeared. Okay, I can't pick that up. Probably not actually ringing anyway. Okay, he doesn't want to answer the phone, so we're out of luck there. And we're still going round in circles. And are we going to get that weird voice again? Might be able to figure out what it's saying third time round. Insane. Right, so it's got to a slightly higher pitch now. Which means that we can hear what it's saying. Insane. Yeah, I agree. I think he pretty much is. Am I supposed to go the other way? Am I just going to keep going round in circles unless I go backwards or something? I don't know. Kind of intrigued as to what happens when we go around here fourth time. The phone is gone. Whoa! Yeah, the phone just sprang up from that. Right, okay. So I'm going to go the other way. It's the only thing I can think of to do at this point. It's going forwards! And now it's fallen off. Right, okay. Yes, speaker. What? Okay, the phone's ringing the right way, but it's downstairs. But we can't get downstairs because we keep going round in blooming circles. Crap. There it is. That was what was lying on the floor before. It was a phone. Yes, okay. Does that mean I can get to the stairs again this time or not? I don't know. I'm just going to carry on going round and round circles for the rest of my little miserable life, am I? Or do I have to go the other way again now? Whoa. Is there a door? Hello, is there a door anywhere at all? Yes! Woohoo! Finally! Okay. Uh-uh. Restless memories. That might be what it said on the window earlier. They certainly are restless. Wow. More trashed bottles. Restless memories. Yeah. Ah! Holy crap. I'm in the dark. What's going on? Oh my gosh. It's so dark. Oh my god. How am I supposed to see a thing here? I think the, the light just went there. What the heck was that on the other side of here? It looked like somebody with blood on them. Oh, that's crazy. The ceiling has got furniture on it. Yeah, that's usually a sign that you've gone barking, isn't it? The door I've just come through is the right way around, though. And there is something that looks horribly like blood all the way up. Across the floor, up the wall, and then on the ceiling as well. What is this? This is something else about rats. Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. Well, that's a bat, isn't it? So I've no idea. It looks like the curtains have been pulled down there. And we've got a light switch. Oh, that worked, didn't it? Oh! Actually, it did. It turned on reality. <laughs> That's nice. That's the door we came through, which looks the same out there now. As it did before. There's even a fork stuck in the table. So, okay, so we've got a room that's looking a little bit more right way around this time. I can't open that because it just shuts itself again. Okay, no. That's just some artist paraphernalia, I think. Medals, pipes. The same bric a brac we've seen a few times. Now that's weird. There's rain on that window pane, but there's clearly a door on the inside on the other side, so that's a little bit strange. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, we're not going to find anything there, I don't think, are we? No. More his and hers bric a brac. Okay, so we're going this way. Long corridor. I hate long corridors. <laughs> They're scary if you go in a big house in real life. Yeah, I was expecting that. And we can hear crying. Now, are we going to be able to get through the door we couldn't get through last time when we heard that? Sugar. Ha! Huh. 
Whoa. Okay. The curtains are having a bit of a fit. They're going across the room. And a window just opened. And what's going to happen when the windows open right next to us? <laughs> I dread to think, but I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Oh my god, what just happened? I have no idea. Can I move? There is somebody outside looking like a lunatic. Just outside of the window, I can see their shadow. Whoa, what did I just do? Did someone just smack me on the bombs? Or what just happened? Or did you just have a fit? Okay. Well, it's all looking a bit trash down here. Suddenly all of those have fallen off the walls. The walls are... I don't know. They look like they've been painted by an insane person or maybe they've just gone mouldy. Someone's attacked the plaster with acid. I don't know what's happened here, but the place is all looking rather trashed and not the way it looked before at all. So I think maybe we're seeing it the way it is now or no, probably not. Probably just the way it is in his head. The elevator. Hope is the mind killer. Nice. So I thought I was going to read something nice there. Hope is the mind killer. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So because he's got hope, his mind is, is, is for the high jump, is it? I don't know. Well, I didn't have a good time in this lift last time. So I'm not hoping for much this time, to be honest. Do we go up or do we go down? Okay, we went that way. I'm not quite sure if we really get... I'm not sure if I really want to look through this door either. <laughs> Not sure I really want to see what's there. What does that say? I think we get to get out here. At least we do if we can open the door. Okay. Abandon hope while you can. Right. That's a pretty message. There's a chest here. Oh, I can't open it, and maybe I should just, like, I'm not sure if it's got anything in it that's particularly useful. Thank you, just give it a throw, there we go. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. Well, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so he's in trouble. Presumably this is his lawyer writing to him. Let the appeal for a court order. Social worker, did, so, social worker has it in for you. Use that to our advantage. A husband in mourning. So his wife is definitely dead, but of what? Momentary lapse of reason. Overzealous. What did, she, what did he do to his daughter? 50-50 chance of a good outcome. Not if you try, keep trying to convince everyone you've gone completely insane. I don't think he's trying to compete that at to... Uh, I don't think he's tried to convince anybody of that. He's convinced me thoroughly. No public appearances. You can still get your daughter. The rest gone. Okay, so his wife definitely died. Whether he killed her is something else. She may not. It may have been perfectly natural cause of course, but his daughter, something happened with his daughter. I guess we'll find out as we go. This is another empty room, which makes me a little nervous. And now what? What are you going to throw at me now? Quite literally. Oh. Can we move that? No? Yes? No? I can. But not much. But I don't know if it's going to help me that much anyway. Let's just see if we can get through there. Or is that locked? It is not. Oh my goodness, there's a bathroom. Is it the same bathroom we saw before? Looks a bit trash, doesn't it? Okay, first things first. Oh, hiding behind a door. Is there a light switch? Because there is, but I can't... Oh, hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's behind me? Sugar. Ah! It's another doll! Freaky. More rats. Silent float as they clog the drains, fur in the water. No bath for me. Uh, 
What was that noise? Okay, so he's persecuted by rats, evidently. And there are things floating in that water. And it does look a little bit like they are dead rats. There are dead rats floating in that water, which is pretty horrible. So he evidently decided he wasn't going to use the bath anymore, which is lovely, obviously. Let's leave that place. Now we came in behind us, so let's go round this corner now. Literally round the bend. Oh, this looks like a boiler room or something. Things are all mixed up. Okay, that didn't do anything at all. Did that actually turn anything on? It's like one of those nightmares you have where you turn lights on and nothing happens. That's lock two. Okay. Pile of chairs. That's also locked. Light switch. Did that... Oh, we can do that. Does that turn a light on inside the room rather than... Can we do that? Hmm. Ah, okay. It's a cupboard. With some fungus or something, are they? fungus yeah growing on the floor which is lovely okay we're not going to learn anything from that ah it's this room again we've seen this room before that has four doors we came in that one let's just try that one oh that one's not going anywhere okay let's just leave it open that one's not going anywhere that one's not going anywhere. Oh, great. So we came in this one. And it's going... Oh, heck. <laughs> that does not look good. That does not look good. Okay. It looks even less good now. And now it's twisted. Like an optical illusion. We seriously have to lurch down this, do we? <laughs> Sorry, peeps. If anybody's got any kind of motion sickness or anything that's this is kind of doing my head in okay i now can't see a thing at all please give me a little light there's a light switch okay that almost worked oh there we go we have some light now and we're going back into the cellar are we is this a cellar we went into before yes it is she says with reserve. Oh! That just burned. Okay, the sheet on that furniture just burned away randomly. What else is going to happen as we come through here? Well, we have been here before, certainly. This is where we found his wife's violin, but this time there's his wife's piano in front of us. Oh, and that's just burning away too. And I think that's, yeah, they're all gradually, what the heck business do we have with this piano? Is it going to bite me? Oh, oh, do I really want to do that? We know what happened last time. That sounds pretty bad. And there goes the clock in sympathy. Oh my goodness. It's like calling the spirits doing this. Oh. Oh. Woo. Everything's rearranging itself, but is it floating onto the ceiling or is it? No, it's just floating around. Plain and simple floating around. It's like it's lost gravity, but we're definitely still. Oh, and everything's just fallen down again. Oh, okay, something's going a little strange. Okay, really not sure. I quite like the piece of music. I'm not quite sure what's going on or what we're supposed to do. I'm going to get 
hurt by this stuff floating around, aren't I? Is it really even there? There's more rats. Oh, holy crud, what just happened? The place is completely dark now. I'm just going to go towards some light, quite frankly. Ah! I cannot see! What? Okay, there's no light there. There's sort of some light here. In fact, that's glowing. The piano looks like it's died. I needed is... to remove the flesh from the bone. Oh, great. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Are you Finally, sure? I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay. Who the heck is it that this guy is carving up? This suppose I suppose we're, we're, we're kind of hoping it's not his wife, aren't we, really? Can I actually get out of there now? Yeah, okay. Everything seems to have settled down a little bit to the way it was when we came in. She says, hopefully. If we go back up here now, we've got a piece of bone, which is going to go into our cabinet of gore. A little cupboard of horrors, I assume. And this is our painting shop, which looks like he's taken half the floor out this time. And we've got some more collectibles up on the wall there. The state of this place. Oh, here we go, look. A taste of copper. Yes, right, so we've got the piece of skin, we've got the blood. And now we've got the bone, which presumably we're going to apply some white stuff, paint to here, which has bone in it. Yep, there we go. Adding some white, which makes it what? Looks to me like a bird, slightly, like a bird flying, wings outstretched, legs hanging down. But yeah, I still can't quite tell what form is emerging from there, and I'm almost glad to be perfectly honest. Oh, and, and there we go. We've opened our advent calendar of horror. There it is, yes. So lovely. So we've got three more doors to go. Joy! And what happens when we find all of those? Well, I do not know. What if you fail? to do what anyway we're back in our artist studio so i think we'll leave it at that and uh, continue this shop of horrors next time i hope that you've enjoyed this episode if you have don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button and feel free to leave your comments in the, the comments box as well uh if you've played this you know tell me what you think but no spoilers as ever and i hope you'll join me the next time we play layers of fear until then keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy Bye-bye.